Lauren here. Hi, everyone. Some insights as I was trying to meditate. And I um, I thought, I'm kind of bored with my thoughts. Like, when I was doing some emotional checking in, and I just was completely clear of emotion and identifying with a larger part of me so that I can really actually experience what I need to and then not judge myself. Also, so this is like a thing and a theme in my journey here as a person in, in this person called me. I'm telling you that because it's, it's not like a small little thing. It's like the big deal for me. Maybe it's not a big deal for everybody, but for anybody who it might be a big deal, maybe this will be helpful. So anyway, I just want to share that the future doesn't ever come. The future doesn't, isn't ever scary um, then. It's only scary now. So this, so any dread has to do with a time that isn't. That was the thing. And and my and the moments have been good. Like it, there, sure, there's times when things are uncomfortable and you know not going right. Sure, but it's this anticipation of a future that be really bad. I've experienced I think the root of this issue, but it's really today something new. This very visceral, and I really mean visceral. I can feel my liver. Very visceral. Feeling signature of comfort and friendliness. That's all. We're all just a big family here right now. And then that's all we've ever been. It's just that we didn't know it. I didn't anyway. Thought we were enemies. We thought the future was scary. The, the future in my mind exists. Sure. I'm not going to argue that. But right this second, a dreaded thing out there isn't happening. And I can't predict the future, so I don't know if it will happen. But what I'm saying is the, the new piece is the scariness of the future is invalid. The idea of the future is still valid, but the scariness of the future is invalid because it's a question mark. There's no, I don't know what it's going to be. It can't be, oh, for sure. Scary. So that triggered response of anticipating something, then that isn't necessarily the case. Food for thought.